Hi, it's me, Ashley again. I have another experiment. I was wondering if it was possible to maybe reuse the same pregnancy test. I have three negatives. Let's find out. As you can see, I used a clear blue easy and it appears to be negative which I did this a couple days ago only because I was trying to see if I possibly had a miscarriage and if a pregnancy test could detect HCG from a miscarriage because I have my tubes tied so and then I just kind of thought I wonder if you could reuse the same pregnancy test so I just thought we would do a little experiment here and this is this is the uh, first signal from Walmart. It's about 88 cents. And as you can see, obviously, negative. And it is a few days old. Sorry for the blurriness. Same thing here. So. The lighting's really, sometimes when the light is really bright, it's hard. Sometimes it's harder to see. But I promise you, <laughs> it's a single blue line. And if anything, you know, you get evaporation lines after the, a lot of time. So, here's the experiment. I'm going to take a cup of urine and I'm gonna see what happens and I'm gonna see if after a few days if anything changes because I'm still having a period and it's been two weeks and who knows so first I'm gonna use this dropper that comes with the the first signal and it only takes about three drops, so I'm going to here we go. One, two, three, maybe four. I'm not even sure that I see anything. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay. Yes, I do. I see some urine moving across it. That looks, it's like very weird. For some reason, my flash decided to turn itself off on. Hmm. Okay. So. 
So now I'm going to go to, I will come back to this one. I'm going to go to my other one. As you can see, again, definitely was a negative if there was a line, which there's not. Um, usually indicates evaporation, so turn this around and here we go. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. And the only reason why I was kind of curious about this is because I've read on some forums where people were like, oh, I took a pregnancy test and it came out negative. And then, and then a couple days later I took it again and it came out, I saw it being positive and I'm not expecting a positive, but you know, who knows? So I just thought I would test it out and see if there was like any validated, you know, <laughs> see what would happen because as you can see there's not another pink dye that you know goes across it or anything so and again this is the Walmart brand the 88 cents you know test it's like easy to experiment with these because they're so cheap and as you can see before it took a long time for the urine to go across This looks like that one's not even doing anything. But with that being said, I still you know, definitely don't see another line. And with this one, it doesn't even look like anything's happening with this one. So, okay. Now let's move on to this one. Clear Blue Easy. Which again... I don't even think I see an evaporation line, which is pretty cool because I've, from what I've read, a lot of blue dyes, you definitely have a problem with that. So let's stick it in for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And, and we will wait and see if anything happens with this one. Okay, definitely see urine moving across that. And basically it's just resaturating it and making it darker. The line that was already there. <laughs> so that one that that worked fast. So I guess I can say the better brand definitely would be the, the uh, Clear Blue Easy. I mean, the test strips essentially work the same, but you know, you do kind of get what you pay for. And I mean, yeah, it's a pretty, it's pretty neat actually, because that, that was very quickly. 
very, very quickly. And, you know, essentially it's the same thing, you know. Definitely still see the same negative lines. So, I'm almost certain that, of course, you can definitely re-pee on a stick. I don't think it's going to give you any results. I'm not sure there's really any truth to what I've read on the, the you know, the trying to conceive forums, but I thought, hey, I'd give it a shot. Not because I'm trying, but only because, you know, there always could be a possibility. But I can say that I still, I still think that Clear Blue Easy is a better brand than HCG, but as far as accuracy, I received the same result from both brands. So if you're a pee on a stick freak, you know, hey, this is a great way to go. I would say only use one test though. <laughs> and if you're not sure, then buy another one. They're only 88 cents. But if you want real, real good results, I would definitely, I would say, you know, this is a better brand. Um, but definitely be careful, be wary because anything with blue dye can give you a, I don't want to say a false positive, but you know, I've, I've heard of evaporation lines even, you know, within the 10 minute time frame because of the blue dye. So I would definitely stick with the pink dyes. Um, I have two kids and I did first response and I mean, as I was peeing, I mean, the test line came up darker than the control line as I was peeing. I didn't have to wait. So I knew immediately I was pregnant. That was definitely not a question. So there you go. Pretty much the same results. That one didn't do anything. This one, eh, same thing. I don't think I see a line. I could be wrong, but I don't think I see anything. But even if I did, and this is an, also another, oh, oh, it's finally working. Ah, that's funny. Okay. A good rule of thumb, if you're unsure about evaporation lines versus a faint positive, if you happen to be a pee on a stick freak, if it has no color, well, first of all, use pink dye, but if it has no color and it's past the allotted time, more than likely it's, it's an evaporation line. If it happens within the allotted, you know, three to 10 minutes, depending on what the test says, and it has color to it, even if it's very faint, but it has color, more than likely it's a positive. So here we go. Finally, gosh, that took forever. But again, you get what you pay for. It's only 88 cents. Jeez. If I happen to have any updates with any of these experiments, of course, I'll post another video. I'm a graphics designer. I do videography. I do video compilations like pictures with music. And, you know, if you have video footage of like weddings or birthday parties and stuff like that, I also um, can take those and, and, and um, compile that with music and, you know, do different, you know, clips of the footage and video and music and all that. And I can, I'm a graphics designer, so I can do um, like wedding invitations, birth announcements, job promotional announcements, graduation announcements, you know, um, Christmas cards, birthday cards, you know, all that good stuff. Um, pretty much any and everything. I make lots of, you know, I, I can do websites and website design and, you know, all that good stuff. So if you need somebody that can do, you know, and we also do event planning, you know, and we have cater, we know people who cater and, you know, especially if you're on a budget, I mean, we, we can pretty much work with, with whatever budget you have. Um, you can find me on facebook.com 
forward slash Ashley Nicole Burleson. Um, also on Twitter, twitter.com. I am at Glitzy Gloss, G L I T Z Y G L O S S. And also Instagram, and at Glitzy Gloss. So G L I T Z G L O S S. So you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. If I happen to have any, you know, newer websites, because we're actually working on stuff right now at the moment. I'm working on a website for my business and all that. And some Facebook pages. I will definitely let y'all know. But for now, this is a great way to contact me. You can contact me on my Facebook. You can contact me on Twitter. You can also contact me, you know, Instagram. I'm a huge Texans fan, so I promote to Houston. Like, that's my number one. So if you're a Houston area, I'm, you know, your girl. I even make diaper cakes and baby shower accessories and stuff like that. So if you need anything, just let me know. We specialize in diaper cakes, we specialize in graphics, we specialize with baby shower invitations and announcements, baby announcements, birth announcements, and all that good stuff, so. Wow, I can't believe how long this is taking. Jeez. That is crazy. This one definitely. Let me go back to this one. Definitely no line there. Wow. That's taken forever. That's insane. Well, I'm kind of thinking that if anything was going to happen, it probably would have happened. So, I see a very, very faint line on here. But I am almost 100% sure it's a urine line. It has to be a urine line. Like, not a positive of any kind. But I will let you know if... if it turns out to be something else, but I'm almost, you know, pretty sure. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, kiddos. It's been almost 20 minutes, so here are the results. You can judge for yourself. Any questions, comments, concerns, needing graphics or videography, invitations, announcements. If you have any questions, or heck, if you even need a line spotter, I can do that. Just be weary if it's past the allotted time. But yeah, send me your pictures. And if you have any other experimentation, give me a comment below. This is me, signing off. I'll be back again with some other crazy experiment because, hey, it's fun. Why not? Love you. Bye. Mwah. Don't forget Glitzy Gloss, Twitter and Instagram, and find me on Facebook. Talk to you later.